This video is sponsored by the AV Summit, an online convention for the AV enthusiasts. Happening October 25th to 29th, big changes are coming. Go to theavsummit.com for more info. I'm excited about this stuff, and this is what we're going to be doing for the AV Summit. We're providing these binaural mics to all the people who want to do demos. So I think you guys are going to be able to get a good, good feel, a good idea of what the systems are all about. You just got your binaural mics, and I'm curious to hear what you thought, because you're always in that seat. You know what your system sounds like. You did a recording of your Oro 3D system. How does it sound? How does the playback sound? Well, first, um, I was a little worried about, like, you know, if it was going to pick it up or anything. And, like, you know, I plugged the the mics into my laptop, and that laptop put it down to, like, 25% gain. And I'm like, oh, this is... Uh, that's kind of weird. You know, mm -hmm. you would normally want it like, you know, 60, 70%. Anyway, I just left yeah. it there. And then... Um, yeah, that's because they don't want it to clip, right? Right, right. Yeah. So then I left it there. And it also took me a little time to figure out that I needed to have the mic, the wires coming down uh, my chest instead of my back. Yeah, because yeah. because then the earpieces wouldn't like line up properly. Yeah. Right, because they got to like face down or something like that. The so, back hair was probably getting tangled or something. Yeah, it was. It was all weird. So, um, and it, it just wouldn't stay. It was like curling up into my ear, like my uh, ear canal. Uh, <laughs> anyway, once I got that sorted out, um, I just did the recording, and there was this time when like I was doing. I did three recordings, and um, I actually I lost lost sight of Fancy, mm. little puppy here, and so I looked and I turned to my left and I found her. And the dude was talking. And that's all totally in the recording. Like, I can hear that when I play it back. I'm like, why the hell? Oh, right. I moved my head. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? So overall, what do, you, what do you think? Like, what were your thoughts of the recording? How accurate? Let's say if you were to give it a percentage. Like, 100% is, it sounds exactly the same as what I hear. What percentage mm -hmm. would you say? Well, first, I made the mistake of just putting, plugging into my computer my Apple earbuds. First first mistake. And I was like, oh, this doesn't sound good. Then I put these guys on. So I would say any kind of like over the ear or something where you have like a seal. Mm -hmm. um, then I was just like, whoa. I'd say I'd say it's probably like 95, 98-ish wow. percent. Like wow. exactly like what it sounds like in here. Wow. That's like I can, I can close my eyes because I know what this looks like here, you yeah. know. Um, and I can close my eyes and I can just... I, I know exactly where I'm like, the, oh, that guy's talking from up there, right? There's this, there's a this scene in that, that music in the, mm. the Oro 3D volume one demo disc. If you're just on the menu, right? And nothing is playing. It's actually has some music playing. And it's like this, do, 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 do. And then this guy's saying how you feel. And it comes out the center. And then it goes, how you feel up here, up here, behind here, over here. And so like, I already know that because I've listened to it so many times. Yeah. So when I close my eyes, and I listened back to the recording. I'm like, oh my gosh, because I could just hear the guy's voice like flying right. around around me. So I was actually very impressed. So like, like I was just like, oh, these tiny little microphones, whatever. Yeah. 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 And then, and then the amount when I did the tractor pull, like the amount of just, it just sounded exactly like, like pretty much. Pretty much, like I, I think the only thing that you would not get from the recording is the amount of vibration in the room due to the subwoofers, right? Yeah. Right, because that's something you feel, not something yeah, you yeah. hear. Yeah, for like a tactile thing. Yeah, right, right. It's a visceral thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, cool. Man. I'm actually very impressed. Actually. So here's the thing: is we've done the same demos, right? So I, you did the one where, what does it say at the beginning? The guy who's talking. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies may and I gentlemen, have your ladies attention, and gentlemen, please. may I have ladies your attention, may I have, may I have, may I have, have your attention, please. may I have your attention, please, may I have your attention, may I have your attention, have your attention. Have, oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, we're going to play that for you guys and let you hear Chana's system and you're going to hear my system. Now, my system is just kind of like, I would like to say a hacked up uh, system because I wanted to use Oro 3D from the Denon, but I also wanted to use Dirac. So I'm using a mini DSP DDRC88A, but it's only eight channels and I have way more than eight speakers. So what's in, what what's going on is the Denon height channels are being handled by Odyssey. And so I think that I'm having some issues and I didn't realize this until I heard your demo and I'm like, 
whoa, yours is just so much clearer. But in addition to that, I have a lot more reverb that I could tell. And so that's one of those things like, you know, if I, I'm used to my room, you know, this, this girl, I, I haven't been there for a long time, but um, I'm used to it to the point where like, I don't notice those issues as much. Right. Versus when right. I heard yours, I'm like, hold up a second. Yours sounds way more crisp and defined and I can tell exactly where things were. And of course, I know you're going to say it's because you got those nice focals and everything, which probably, I mean, that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, yeah it has something to do with it. <laughs> But also, I notice yours has more, uh, like, a spatial feel because Space. your your ceilings are higher. Mine are pretty right. low ceilings, not True. not super low, but normal. Yours are not normal height, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the, and and they're, and it's all different, right? So, mm -hmm. like, this one's just below eight feet because it's on that beam, mm -hmm. and but then um, the one up here is at about twelve to fifteen feet. Yeah. So, well, so the it's, separation it's, that I hear on yours is just fantastic. You can really, really place where the tractor is and even parts of the tractor. Mm -hmm. You can hear like yeah. parts of yeah. it that are moving. So crazy. And mine just sounds kind of mushed together, right? Mm. And so I think that's partially because I need more room treatment in the garage, right? So this is, this is all great stuff, you know? If you're somebody like me who, I, you know, you like to tinker and mess around with new stuff, the fact that you have an excuse like, oh, well... <laughs> There's a there's something I need to fix here. If right, you wanna, like, right. Like me, I, I have something to fix now. Awesome, right? So I'm excited about that. So I noticed in mine there's a lot more bass in the tractor part. Um, on yours, was there something like what's what's going on? I'm kind of like, oh. what's up with those rails, bro? Are they are they are they are they working? What, what's up? <laughs> I uh, I have one of them off, and the other one's normally at like eleven o'clock, but it's down to like nine because it's just a little too much in here. So mm, I see. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. So that's that's all right. Well, I'd love to hear your system with everything to like turned up exactly where it needs to be. Anyway, hey, Chana, thanks, man. I appreciate hey, no you. No problem. Bro. Yeah. Hey, take care, later. bro. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies may and I gentlemen, have your ladies attention, and gentlemen, please. may I have ladies your attention, please. may I have, may I have, may I have, may I have your attention, may I have your attention, please. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies may I have your attention, please. May I have your attention, may I have, may I have your attention, may I have your attention, please. The next recording is made in the European countryside. Notice that the birds are up in the trees. Listen to the donkey in the background. Then the church bells, followed by the tractor passing. Witness how much more realistic the tractor sound is when the addition of all the height channels are engaged. So there you have it. I hope you could tell the difference between the two systems with these binaural demos. I think that binaural is amazing. It's exciting. 
and I've been pushing for binaural sound demos for a very long time, and it's good to see that people are starting to come around. I've talked to folks like Paul Barton about this, and he seems to think like, you know, I think you might be onto something. As long as the headphones on the other end are decent, you'll get a better experience if you guys are using good headphones. Now, if you guys are using some pretty bad headphones, they'll introduce their own coloration. So just make sure to know that and that this is not the exact sound of our speakers because your your headphones are gonna make a difference, but more to get an idea of the spatial aspects and the differences in sound. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>